The Noah Ray says, Fluffy, you should post a vlog about it. That's a good thing you did today. Fine, I'll post a vlog about the bunny I saved. Just get off my back already. Well, you were the only one that asked, but still. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? So the other day I was just driving down some side streets doing what I'm always doing when I'm driving down side streets Just looking for hookers to murder But then all of a sudden this bunny just darts in front of me and just sits in front of my car And I didn't want to kill the bunny because I'm not a cruel bastard like some of you guys might be I know some of you your first thought was like run it over. Yeah, run that bitch over But no, you're you're fucked in the head dude. This bunny must have had a death wish or something It was just sitting in front of my car and it was all like I want to die Well, it didn't say anything because bunnies don't talk at least not when I'm sober. So this bunny's just sitting there for the longest time and I'm honking at it, I'm trying to get it out of the way. I'm like, look buddy, if you're gonna park on the side, you gotta put your four ways on. And he didn't do anything, not even a flinch or a budge. So I put my four ways on to block traffic and I got out and I was standing like an inch away from this bunny and it didn't even acknowledge me. And I'm like, do you know who I am? I'm Fluffy Talks, you better look at me when I come this close to you. And he did not say a thing. And everyone's looking at me like I'm crazy, like I'm fucking mourning a dead rabbit because it's not moving. And then this this one guy stops and starts honking at me and shit like I'm causing trouble. Just fucking go around me, you prick. So I just looked at him through his windshield and went, no bunny dies tonight. And then he just drove off looking at me like a psycho for some reason. So eventually I just nudged the bunny with my foot and it snapped out of it. It was like, oh shit, I'm in the middle of a road. Who the fuck is this giant? And then just like ran away. And you know, I was considering just taking it home with me, but the bunny did look a little rabid. Like it's already been hit by a few cars and I have eaten rabbit before. So I'm pretty sure bunnies can smell when you've had a taste of them. I just didn't want to take the chance of bringing this bunny home then going to sleep one night and waking up with it nibbling off my dick. Cause let's face it, if anything on the male body looks like a carrot, it's the dick. Maybe this bunny was the Easter bunny. Maybe he's just getting fucking senile. I never really trusted the Easter bunny anyway. Really think about the Easter bunny. He gives you chocolate eggs, but where do these chocolate eggs come from? His ass? So he is pooping out chocolate eggs in tin foil. No, you know what he's doing? He is pooping out poop and then wrapping it in tin foil and molding it into an egg shape. You are eating rabbit shit. And not only are you eating his shit, but he feels the need to hide it from you. So you have to find his shit before you shove it in your mouth. I'm sorry, but if I want to eat shit, I will poop myself and scoop it out of my pants. I think there's something fucked up about all these mystical holiday creatures. You know, like the Easter Bunny, Santa, the Tooth Fairy. All three of these people have the ability to sneak into your children's rooms. I think all these holiday characters just got together one day and were like, how can we touch children and make it seem like we're doing something really good for mankind? Because, you know, I am a pedophile but I wouldn't want to look like a pedophile. I'm surprised it's not mandatory for every holiday character to have a mustache in a van. I sat on Santa's lap one time and something poked me in the ass. So I want to do a shout out here that's a little unconventional. My buddy's in college and he's got this project where he has to write a blog and he's getting graded on this blog just depending on how many views his blog gets. And he's kind of stressing right now, he doesn't think he's going to get enough views to get a good grade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link his blog in the description and you don't even have to go and like read the blog. All you have to do is just click on the link and give him a view and this will get him an A plus and help him graduate college. He doesn't know I'm doing this, I just feel like helping him out since he's helped me out with a few of my videos so I want to return the favor. So if you'll do me a huge favor and just click on the link below and then he'll be all like hey where'd all these views come from and then he'll get an A plus and it'll be cool so I want to know what's the nicest thing you've ever done for someone or something or just done in general and I know some of you are gonna realize how much of a dick you are right now because you're gonna think like what's the nicest thing I've ever done well I pushed that midget down the stairs one time so if you've never done anything nice before just tell me what's the nicest mean thing you've done or what's a nice thing you're going to do and thumbs up this video because if you don't your dick will get bit off by a bunny and if you're a girl then your boobs will get bit off I don't I don't know I can make these things happen where is he he's been gone for three hours how long does it take to get some weight I don't know, man. I just want to sit here and feel paranoid about my goddamn life decisions and eat my goddamn butter chicken that's been sitting in the fridge for four hours! Yo. Dude! Well? Well what? Where the weed at, dog? Oh shit. You guys are not going to believe what just happened to me. What happened? Alright, so I'm walking down the street, right? And then all of a sudden I get surrounded by the high tops. 